CP Trading Company. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm just putting out a video here. <clears throat> this is my one scalp account where I uh, day trade or scalp futures. I have a trade I'm in here. I'm just shorting some gold. It's a really thin market, so um, you can just see how we'll just see how this plays out. Um, as you can see, this has the PL right here. And as this comes down, I'm just going to reduce the risk. Um, back down on the trade so now I'm risking $90 um, here so $90 risk now as you can see I'm up 30 bones if this drops it should hit this target I'm just waiting to see what we're gonna get um, on this so we'll see So it came down, bounced off this, came down again, bounced, and now we're retesting. So odds are, I mean, you can get a triple bottom or this is going to break through. My microphone is not near me, so it might sound echoey, but you get the gist. So there's some support through here so it may bounce off here so I may cover there but I just want to see in case this wants to run and drop um, you know as you can see over here I'm risking 10 ticks to make 30 ticks which is 100 bucks to make 300 bucks so if this were to drop to the target I would make a uh, $300 or 30 ticks in gold so as you can see I'm up 50 um, 50 now at this point sorry now 40 um, okay so now I'm risking 70 bucks I'm up 40 bucks target down here is still around 300 bucks so gold may bounce up here and stop me out you know, or may keep selling off. So we'll see what's going to happen. The line in the sand is right there. That needs to be broke. And buyers are trying to step in. These markets are thin. It's the holiday. So, um, you know, these aren't the best markets to be trading. But, um, yeah, that's where we are. So let's go. Let's go. Gold. Drop. What are we going to get here, guys? All right. Is it going to play hard mall? So if this gets back to break even, I may just close it right here. And it'll probably fill me at a shitty price, but it is what it is. Okay, so now it's back up. It's trying to test, but I'm not. Like I said, I'm just taking it. Taking it easy. There we go. It's all about being patient and letting the odds and probabilities play out. Some are going to stop out, some are going to go to profit, and that's just the way it goes. But like I said, I'm watching this, so I may cover this at market. I'm just watching what this price does right here. I need this to break. I need 1304. 50s or 60s 50s to break so we're we gonna get that let's go step in So it's just stagnant, like I said, these are really thin markets, there's only been, what is there, 218, 200, almost 219,000 contracts traded on gold, which isn't plenty, 
which isn't a ton. Um, but each one of these ticks is $10, so they can add up very quickly. And that could be good if you're right and bad if you're wrong and you don't have a tight stop or manage your risk well. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll risk on average between like $70 and $200 a trade. I try to stick around $100 or $120 range and then always targeting, you know, $300 to $500 to $1,000 on the trade. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> so far, it's been about five minutes or so since I've been in this trade. Um, and it's just hovering up, you know, around 30, 30 bones. So we'll see. 20, 30. It should break. If it doesn't break here. I'm just going to risk 40 bucks now. So if this doesn't break, I'm going to lose 40 bucks. If it does break, I'm going to make, you know, whatever. 40, 50, 60, 170, 200 bucks. What you're going to give us gold is the line in the sand right here. This is what buyers kept buying it. They kept buying it here. They bought it here. Now they're trying to buy it here, but the bears may step in. This is the line in the sand line oh and am i gonna get stopped out oh no we're dancing around are we gonna flush there should be a flush here but these markets are so thin but so far this price action looks bearish more than it does look bullish but again anything can happen on any given day in the markets What are we gonna do? Let's go. All right, usually if you don't get your move, I sometimes cover because, you know, it's good to have a price stop and a time stop. But again, these markets aren't, the volume and the liquidity isn't there, or the, you know, the action, because there's no, there's not a lot of traders uh, trading today based on the contracts. Um, you know, ES is at 500,000, that's usually at a million plus. Gold is usually at 500 or 400 or, you know, 600,000, it's at 220,000 uh, at the moment. So we'll see if we're gonna break. Am I gonna take a profit or a loss here? That is the question. We gonna break or what? So now I'm sitting at basically break even, but my stop is at four ticks above, so like I said, I'm risking $40 still, but my target is 300, so that's a great risk reward. If this market does break down and we break this low, I'll move my stop to plus one just to lock in a free trade and commission. It'll be about $10. It cost me about um, maybe four or five dollars to put on and take off the trade in total. So if I get stopped out, I'll still make six dollars. Uh, Woohoo! Um, if that occurs, as you can see, now I'm down negative 10. You know, are we gonna flush or what? My stop is pretty tight, but again, I don't want this to pop up against me and me. Stop either. filled. All right, so there you go. I was just stopped out um, on these thin markets. But anyways, um, I just wanted to give that trade uh, idea out, um, or not idea. I just wanted to go over something I was in. But anyways. Check out the channel for more videos. I'm gonna be doing some more live trading, more YouTube uh, videos on, uh, you know, uh, tutorials and uh, trend lines and moving averages, Fibonacci's, things like that. And pretty much we trade all the uh, markets as well. So keep a lookout for that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. The trade didn't go as planned, but um, more than likely it'll probably flush now that we're out of it and took us out. But again. 
it's the last trading day of the year, really thin markets. But anyways, check out cptrading.co for more information, all the links and everything that I use, tools, tips, and tricks are in the description as well. So anyways, thanks for watching again, guys. Bye-bye.